Hi Scorpio, welcome to your reading for today. This is going to be a general energy reading for you and we're going to see what you need to know, what you need to be aware of. Take it how it resonates. It can be past, present, or future. Okay, roles can be reversed. Now as I'm coming into your reading here today, there is a ladybug that is steadily moving its way across my ceiling up there. And it's going slow, but it's it's traveled pretty far. I have no idea where this ladybug came from. I have no idea. But it's just crawling. I've been watching it. It's just crawling. Slow and steady, right? It keeps looking for an opening. <laughs> so curious. Searching for something. Now I forgot what ladybugs mean, but maybe that's something to look up. Hmm. Let's see. Scorpio, what's going on with you today? What does Scorpio need to know? The King of Wands in reverse. King lost his crown. Is what I just heard. The Two of Swords. Okay, so we have a King of Wands in reverse. We have a Queen of Cups. But the King lost his crown. He's in the reverse. And then we have the Lovers here. So this could be a relationship. You could be in a relationship with this King of Wands in reverse here. Let's see what's going on with these two. The king lost his crown. What does that mean? The six of cups. The seven of wands, the four of swords. And the nine of swords. So this king of wands right now, they could be to themselves. They could be laying down thinking. They could be worried, stressed out. They're all up in their head. This person could be laying up in bed at night. They can't sleep, confirmation. They could be being haunted before they go to sleep by something. Thoughts, more than anything, is what I'm getting. Interesting, why is the Queen of Cups here? The Tower. The Hermit and the Three of Wands. So it looks like both of these people are going within. I don't know if you're this Queen of Cups. You could be Scorpio or this is a different person outside of you. Okay. There's definitely two people here though. A couple that seems to be going within right now. Okay. Or reflecting on something. Something shocking is happening. Or somebody is trying to keep something to themselves, something that is um, that feels devastating to them. They're trying to hold it in. They're, they don't want to let other people see this necessarily. What's the lovers? Death. Okay, something is completely over something is ending here in the chariot so we have scorpio cancer virgo and gemini a queen of swords in reverse so we have an energy here of somebody that is lying someone that is cold-hearted manipulative um This could be two people, about two people in a relationship, but they don't really talk is what I'm getting. They don't really talk to each other. This, something could be over between two people, but there's a lot of coldness between them. There's a lot of tension between two people. It's like something is over. It's, it's kind of giving me with these two cards, like something is over. Somebody has moved forward, but they're moving forward separately even though there is still a relationship here it's like two people are 
people could be sleeping in separate beds. It's really giving me that energy of like two people in the same house, two people in the same bed, but very, very distant, very, very cold in their thoughts, in their mind, very lonely. It's like being together, but you're not. It's like you're together, but you're distant. That's what it, this is feeling like. Tell me more about why this King of Wands has lost his crown. Please. It comes out again, the Six of Cups. Interesting. That That's what flew out in the beginning, but I didn't take it. So something here about the past is haunting this person. At night, Eight of Cups. Walking away. Leaving something behind. The Ace of Wands and the Empress, a Queen of Wands in reverse. With the Ace of Wands and the King of Wands, Queen of Wands both coming out in reverse, it could be somebody that's trying to escape into some sort of um, lustful energy. Like that could be their escape. Maybe that's why there's distance here between them, okay? I don't know if this is like an open relationship or feels a little bit polyamorous if I'm being honest. Welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together, perfect. What is this with this um, Ace of Wands and the King of Wands here? There's a separation. Sadness missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of future. Yeah, there's definitely an energy here of separation between two people, being unsure of what's going to come in the future. What's this um, Ace of Wands? The Grim Reaper, the relationship is over, no second chances. Okay. So this could be, this could have been a relationship where at one point these two people felt like they met the one or this was perfect or they, there was love here. They had opened their heart to each other, but now it doesn't feel like that at all. It feels very distant. Maybe something is based more on sex or that's kind of what kept the relationship together okay what's the seven of wands the knight of cups someone here is very defensive towards someone else's offers so if the queen of cups is the one coming out as the knight of cups wanting to advance or wanting to reach out or wanting to rekindle this king of wands is very defensive towards that or they have some sort of a wall up here. Three of cups in reverse. Yeah, this person could have a lot of third parties. I feel like this king of wands has that distorted sexual energy. Because I feel like this person uses sex as an escape. And I'm not just talking about within the relationship. Even with other people, third parties and stuff like that. It, it It's feeling like they run away from their own insecurities that way. It feels like a distraction. This person um, needs distractions in their life for some reason. What's the four swords? The Knight of Pentacles. They're thinking about some sort of a financial strategy here or some sort of a long-term strategy that they had. The King of Wands comes out in reverse again. Yeah, the King has lost... His crown here, this King of Wands in reverse. This could even be the kind of person that uses sex as like a manipulation tactic, okay? Um, to get close to people, maybe even to get close to this Queen of Cups. Maybe that was how this person reeled this Queen of Cups in in the past, was through some sort of charming, sensual, passionate energy. But with this King of Wands, it feels very fleeting because this person is like 
always looking for a different distraction. Everything seems to be about some sort of a strategy here. I feel like even sex is used as a strategy for this person. It's used as like a weapon, okay? But when something isn't working anymore, they use it as a distraction. Like this person could have an addiction to this. They could have some sort of a, a sex addiction. Is what it feels like. Page of Cups. What's the Page of Cups? Heartbroken in reverse. Yeah, they use this as a distraction so that they don't have to feel their feelings. They don't like feeling sad. They don't like grieving. They don't like feeling heartbroken or this person generally doesn't have a lot of um, remorse. Okay, they don't really, I don't feel like this person feels deeply. And if they do, then that's that might be why they use relationships or this kind of sensual energy. They use it as a distraction because they don't like feeling things. Okay, so I don't know where that comes from in their life, but probably childhood. They avoid, they, this is definitely someone that avoids um, negative feelings with, through escapism. That's coming out pretty strongly here. What's the sign of swords? The two of swords, yeah, they do not like um, any kind of feelings of anxiety, worrying, stress. It puts them in a state of denial. They deny their own emotions a lot. The King of Swords in reverse, yeah, this is somebody that is a liar, highly manipulative, they can be very abusive. This is somebody that is very, very calculated. They could be smart, but they use their intelligence for the wrong reasons. They're very strategic and manipulative, yeah. They also, it's kind of strange, it's like they use their level of intelligence to deny the truth and to manipulate their own reality into what they, um, what favors them, right? Because this person avoids negative emotions, they avoid especially any kind of feelings of vulnerability, that's what I'm getting strongly. They don't like feeling vulnerable at all. So they will manipulate their own mind and their own logic into always, you know, avoiding that kind of a, a vulnerability, especially feelings of, you know, sadness or fear or anxiety. It makes them feel very vulnerable. So they will then twist their reality in a way to avoid feeling that way. And I feel like they use a lot of escapism to do that as well. And then you know, the escapism, instead of seeing it for what it is, they will manipulate it into justifying it or seeing it as necessary. It's like this person lives in a weird bubble of denial of who they are, why they are the way they are. Um, yeah, it's definitely, I mean, with the Six of Cups, this definitely could have something to do with childhood. We have the Empress here. This could have something to do with a mother wound, a feminine energy wound, okay? This person could have, you know, I don't know, a distorted sense of masculinity and what it means to be a man. I don't think they ever really learned in childhood how to deal properly with negative emotions. And I, I do feel like they have a some sort of a weird... Um, they have a, a weird pull to like sexualization of, of women or generally of, of even their own being. It's something with their masculinity, okay? I don't know why I'm getting this energy, but that's what's coming through, guys. Why is this so important here for this King of Wands in reverse? They could be going through a period now where they're being confronted with this part of them. This could be a shadow side that they have, okay? That they have been running away from for a very long time or kind of justifying. It's 
it's like this is it's giving me like this is the this is like an alter ego almost is what it feels like there's like an alter ego hidden in this person and it's very dark and it's very distorted very distorted dark sexual yeah it's not it's not pretty but it like it's like this person has been keeping this to themselves for a very long time but i feel like it's it's starting to show or it's it's starting to like haunt them or something like that oh my god look high priestess yeah that's what this feels like Like, this sounds so strange, okay? But I'm just going to say, because that's what it's, that's how it's coming through the reading, the energy. I feel like this is only how I can explain it. It's like, you know how sometimes when, like, serial killers get away with something for many, many years, and then they start making mistakes, or people, you know, the farther they get into it, the more they do something, the more that you can start to see it. Like, it becomes more obvious like the demon on them it starts to show more i feel like that's what's happening to this person it's like they can't hide it anymore because it's not within them anymore it's not this little tiny secret that they have within them anymore now it's out in the open because of their actions oh my god Yo, I'm telling you, it's his shadow, the secret shadow side. Look at that, the moon and the devil. Yeah, this person has a dark side to them and it's it's very dark. It's very, very dark. I mean, it's even giving me serial killer vibes. That's how dark it is. But it's not just, you know, that aspect. There's something here with this person's sexuality. It's very distorted. It's very dark. This person does not have that part of them under control because they've been using it as a distraction, as escapism. They have a really weird relationship with, it feels like an alter ego. They use it as a weapon, they use it as a strategy, they use it to maybe charm, to get to women, okay, to pull people in that they can then see as victims. I don't know how far this person goes, but I feel like there's something here with their sexuality that is very important. Yeah, they, it, it feels like an addiction. It feels like an addiction. And it's got a hold on them. It's very strong. But this person also, you have to understand, I don't really feel like this person has a lot of remorse in their life. Like they don't feel bad. They don't deal with negative emotions, right? I sneeze. <coughs> Ooh, sorry. Yeah, confirmation, the sneeze right there. Like this person, King of Wands in reverse, King of Swords in reverse, they're very abusive. This is someone that's very abusive. Very calculated, very mean, very cruel. Which is also scary because um, I read this um, or I saw this documentary one time or some sort of an article, I don't remember, it's so long ago, where um, it kind of went into how, like how there's, you know, serial killers that will then, you know, do something to their victims before they end their life. And it's because they equate sex with um, power or violence. Like that's when it gets um, really dangerous is when these people see something that should be based on love and passion and, you know, positive emotions, they start to see it as violence like it needs to be violent for it to feel good for them that's what this is giving me and it's kind of it's really scary energy if i'm being honest like they have a really like if this is your reading you're gonna know because this person has a really weird relationship to um 
sex. Like it's, it's not for love. This person doesn't do it out of love. It's, it's really weird. Why is the Queen of Cups here? And I heard before this came out, it's, it's the victim, the latest victim and the lovers came out. So this Queen of Cups is somebody that's in a relationship with this King of Wands. Or was the latest victim of this Queen of uh, this King of Wands here? Six of Wands. Yeah. Now I don't know if you are this Queen of Cups or you know just who this couple is, okay? But whoever this Queen of Cups is, she definitely felt like she had a victory in this relationship being with this person, right? Like it made them feel good. It made them feel like they had some sort of status in life, like elevated status, okay? Something to do with reputation. Which makes me believe that this Queen of Cups probably did not know about this side of this person when they first got together. It was probably something that was very hidden. Um, there could have been a lot of perks dealing with this person. I do feel like as a King of Wands, King of Swords in Reverse, being very manipulative, this person probably is very charming or they have a very strong aura. It's giving me... Yeah, definitely very, very confident, okay? Why is the tower here? The two of pentacles. What's this two of pentacles? I feel like this person, you know, they obviously cheat all the time, okay? Have faith, love is coming. Stability, security, permanence, and growth. So this Queen of Cups could have been looking for somebody that will make them feel um, some sort of stability or security, or there's a tower coming in for someone's stability and security or something that felt permanent. There's a tower coming in for this, so it means that there's destruction. There's devastation here. There's something ending completely, Coffin. There's something ending here completely. And it has to do with somebody's stability and security. Why is that coming in here? Somebody's money even maybe is ending. Because of a queen of swords. Ace of wands, six of wands. Which is so strange with the Ace of Wands because it's honestly, I mean, something here just feels like a very distorted and toxic relationship dynamic. I mean, it just feels really weird. Seven of Wands. So you could be defending yourself against these people here, okay? Or somebody's standing up for themselves and speaking out against this. Six of Pentacles in reverse and a Queen of Wands. Somebody doesn't want to give to a Queen of Wands anymore, or somebody's not giving something to a Queen of Wands, or somebody didn't give something to a Queen of Wands. Or it's this King of Wands. Something is a something is a bad financial strategy. Somebody here is lazy. Somebody here is a procrastinator. Somebody didn't plan very well. They're being found out. They can't manipulate anymore. Somebody doesn't know how to plan, okay? They don't know how to be strategic at this time. They're being found out. They have to lay down their weapons. What does that have to do with them um, losing their security here or this devastation coming in? It has to do with an investment that they made or some sort of financial news, the magician. The Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, okay, so this is big. This tower is coming in and it's out of their control. There's nothing they can do to stop this. It's coming in because it's fated to come in. This is, um, this is fated. This is part of their fate. 
this is part of the, the destiny, the chosen path, is that something is crumbling to the ground completely. And I feel like it has a lot to do with this relationship and the way that it is and, the, and who's involved in the relationship, but not just that, the King of Wands, this person's dark side, their alter ego coming to the surface and showing, like rearing its head or what it's called, right? Like something is undeniable, something cannot be denied anymore about this dynamic or how this person is, how they operate, their demons are like on full display and it, it cannot be hidden. It can't be hidden. It's like, like I said, it's like once, you know, once you see the true face of like one of these, you know, true crime killers, it's like there's no going back after you've seen that. That demon, right? So what's the hermit? The five of wands. The knight of wands. Yeah, there's like, maybe there's conflict going on between these two people. I mean, all of this... I think, you know what, in the Ace of Swords, it's like, this is all wands, which is making me believe that this relationship here between these two people was based mostly off of lust, okay? That's probably how this King of Wands reeled in the Queen of Cups in the beginning was through sex, lust, and passion. And that's how they kept them there. That's how they keep each other. I don't know. If this is your relationship, if this is someone that you know, but this is like, it's all based off of like lust. I don't really feel anything here that has to do with real love. I'm not feeling it. I feel money and I feel sex. That's it. Okay. It feels very toxic. It feels like it has a lot to do with reputation and how they're seen by others, how people you know see them and view them this could be a couple that wants to appear to the public like they are in love and they are successful and they are um happy but i don't feel it i feel like there's a lot of conflict here it's it's fighting it's conflict it's a lot of passion it's a lot of lust and anything besides that is two people that live together but are actually very separate and distant like the emotions are not there like it doesn't feel like love which now I'm, you know, it makes me wonder, is it only this King of Wands that's completely incapable of this? Because this person screams incapable of feeling deep emotion, Wh whether that be negative emotion or positive emotions. I don't feel like this person has a big range. I'm going to be honest. I feel like this person gets their excitement from things like sex and I don't know, sex and violence, okay? Because that's the vibe they give me. It's distorted. It's very toxic and distorted. This Queen of Cups, I'm not really getting much of love. I'm getting, she likes to have the, the public recognition. She likes to have a public, be be seen in a, in a certain way in the public eye. This person values stability and security. It's like, why would you stay with a person like this King of Wands? If you know what love is, if you know what love feels like, why would you, you know, you have to ask yourself, what is going on here? Okay, I don't, I don't know. Very distant. Both people very isolated. They don't talk much. They're together, but they feel lonely. Both of them. One of them escapes into their alter ego and the other one escapes into, I don't know. It's kind of strange. This reading is really weird. What's the hermit? <laughs> the mature man, okay. Yeah, so this mature man could be the one that isolates themselves. They're very um, imprisonment. They like to stay away. They, they en encapsulate themselves. I feel like the hermit, this mature man really sticks to themselves. They don't let any people near them, not even the people that they claim to love. They are very reserved 
but they might not come across that way. That's the thing, right? They might come across as very exuberant, charming, loud, you know, I'm here, look at me, I'm so confident. But this is the alter ego within them that is locked away and it's driven by that. It, wait a minute, I'm just seeing it now. That's literally sex and violence. Look at that. Nine of Wands and the Five of Wands, that's sex and violence. This is their alter ego. Mature man and the hermit. What's hidden within them, deep within them, that nobody else can see is this. Sex and violence. Now I'm getting it. This person has two sides to them. Two of pentacles. Yeah, what's this three of wands? Justice. Libra energy. The seven of cups. Yeah, so someone here doesn't really know what to do. Someone might be trying to look towards the future. They're trying to figure out their next move. They're confused. They don't know what the best option is when it comes to what? A main female in reverse. A main female in reverse. What do you mean? A cassette, outdated thinking, replaying events over in your head. Yeah, and I feel like that's what's going on right here with both of these people. They're replaying something that happened or that's going on in their life over and over and over in their mind. And something is really shattering in front of their eyes. They don't really know what to do right now. They're replaying something over and over in their mind, feeling stuck in it. Something is falling apart. But there's a, it's like this... There's something to something toxic within this King of Wands here that's really coming to the surface. I feel like it might be overtaking them. That's what this reading might be about. It's like they don't have this demon under control anymore. Whatever is on them, I guess you could say. Wow. Yeah. Exactly. See, this is the point in the story where the person starts making a lot of mistakes, right? It's where, you know, at the beginning of their spree, they probably got away from the cops for a very long time. They were able to stay under the radar undetected for a very long time. This is the point in the story where they start making a lot of mistakes. If you get what I mean here, Five of Swords. Yeah, they start taking risks. I can't even make it up. They start getting risky. They start taking more risks. They start being a little, and the devil again at the bottom of the deck, like this person feels untouchable. They start to feel like they, um, they could even be losing their mind a little bit. Like it's kind of giving me that somebody's losing the capacity to think logically like they're just taking a lot of foolish risks they're just jumping into it because they might be getting desperate or they start to feel untouchable like nobody can do anything to them um very very manipulative it's like you know what i said at the beginning where somebody is like living in their own world of denial where they believe that everything they do is justified like that's the level we're at like they're not they're not capable of thinking about other people anymore or what it looks like to other people all they see is themselves like this is not just narcissists this is definitely something going into like psychopathy i mean i can't diagnose anyone but that's what it feels like it's like this person's energy feels like they only see themselves and it's this is really giving me like hunting the prey Okay, that's all they see. It's like they've, they're in a weird tunnel vision where that's all that they focus on. And anything that comes up about them or, you know, them being exposed or them feeling vulnerable, they push it down because they don't, they're way past being, a, they just can't allow themselves to feel vulnerable. So they excuse it and they like justify it away. It's really strange. Yeah, this is definitely giving me like end of the movie kind of a thing, right? Where it's like, 
we've been watching the movie for an hour and a half and it's like getting to the point where the super villain is like really overestimating themselves and like starting to lose their mind like that's what this feels like okay three of swords in reverse and the, the page of wands yeah the page of wands this is this king of wands okay this is this person they are it's honestly giving me like they feel untouchable like they feel like they can go out into the world and do whatever they want and they can go out and explore and they can come out like a child with childish energy untouchable no no sense of pain no sense of vulnerability like they don't feel vulnerable they don't feel this is very strange they feel very untouchable this person is um Maybe that's why they take all these risks. Maybe that's why they they do the things that they do. It's that is also a sense of escapism to them. Like they this person is like running away and escaping their own negative feelings, but I don't even feel like they come up anymore. Like this is something that like it doesn't even come up anymore because they've spent so many years justifying it away and like 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 there's something in their mind i don't know i don't know how to explain it like it's the four of wands why is the lovers here judgment yeah this is sick yo this is really sick i mean the lovers and the four of wands this would be like a happy family perfect family a happy relationship we're so in love look at our happy union we're married we have this house we're so happy together yo this does not feel right at all it's like confirmation this is what they present to the world this is how they want it to be seen they want to be seen like they are this happy loving couple and it's so happy and look at us in our perfect house and our perfect community but no, there's something really weird going on here. Really, really weird. It's like, who, which, which serial killer was that? Wasn't that, wasn't his name Gacy? I don't remember his first name. John Gacy or something like that. Who had a family. He, he had a wife and he had kids. If I remember correctly, he had a wife and kids. I think he had a daughter. And nobody knew that this man was doing the most horrific things when nobody was watching. And he went home to his wife and kids. That's this. That is this. Look at us. We're a perfect family. No, I'm not a crazy uh, serial killer at night doing th these kind of things. I have a happy family. Look at me. Or maybe that's what this king of wands did with this queen of cups. Is that why he chose the queen of cups? This person could be somebody that chooses women to marry to cover up this part of them. Is that what this is? This is somebody that chooses women specifically to um, mask to the world that they have this happy home, happy life, happy wife kind of a thing. Is that why the Queen of Cups is here? Eight of Swords in Reverse. The Three of Pentacles. The chariot. Wait a minute, is that correct what you just gave me? Yo, this is, I just said, is it correct what you just gave me? The Ace of Swords comes out with the Empress. This person who is this fucking sick and distorted, they could also choose women purposely that have children. So that's gross. This King of Wands could have gone, gone for a Queen of Cups and targeted this person specifically knowing that this person is a mother and has children. If you get what I'm saying. 
I can't believe I just it comes out like that because I got it with the three of pentacles I got it is this children and I asked is, is what I'm getting correctly empress comes out in the ace of swords this person targeted a mother knowing that she has children six of pentacles Because they want to make this appearance of everything being happy and a happy life and a happy home and a happy family. That's the truth. That's the truth about this person and their strategy. Their strategy. So, yeah, this goes back to the beginning. Love and sex for this person is nothing but a strategy. Relationships are a strategy. How they get close to people is nothing but a strategy, a financial one. This person is definitely, I would say, at least a sociopath. I'm, I'm tending towards more of a psychopath, if I'm being honest. The way this person operates is very sick. Okay. Now, I, like I said, I can't diagnose anyone. I'm just going off of the energy and also what I know about psychopaths and how they act and how they operate. But yeah, how they operate, two of wands. This person chose somebody and targeted someone specifically here, two of wands. Yeah, they did. Look at that judgment. This person definitely thought about this very intently. So if you know, so if this Queen of Cups is your mother or somebody that you know could be someone's mother here, this King of Wands went for this Queen of Cups, seduced this Queen of Cups, reeled them in, knowing full well that this person is a mother. That was a part of why they did it in the first place. That's sick. That's really fucking sick. Three of Wands. It was a it was a plan. A long-term plan. The star. To make themselves look healed, to make the strength. It, it has a lot to do with this person's public. Um the way that they're seen to the public, they this person has an extremely strong aura and they put it on thick, especially with strength here. This person puts it on thick. They come across very masculine, very strong, very charming, very I am the savior. I am this, this person has God complex. Star and strength is giving me this person puts themselves on a pedestal and this queen of cups apparently kiss the feet of this man okay thinking that they are the star they are the macho they are the look at him how strong he is he's so strong he's so manly he's so grandiose he's so different like that's what i'm getting off this it's just very weird okay it's just strange as fuck honestly it's strange it's like yeah the, yeah look at what this is Magician and the Knight of Wands reverse, when in reality, this person is using their sexual energy as a sex addict to manipulate. This is a sex addict that manipulates people into having families with them or manipulates women that have families, that have children. Absolutely disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. This energy is Four of Swords. It's their alter ego. Honestly, this Four of Swords just keeps giving me this person's alter ego. Yeah, very risky person. Very, very risky. Oh, man. Okay. Who are we dealing with here? Scorpio. A Libra. So, I don't know. Maybe this King of Wands is a Libra. Okay. Someone's a brother. July. Someone could be born in July. 
or something happened in July. We have a Virgo. Somebody's in-laws. Something about May. January. December and a friend. Wow, that is the only... Okay, we got Virgo and we got Libra. Those are the only two that came out here. Okay. Yeah. So I hope this helps, guys. I'm going to leave it at that. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye.